What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Kuroko no Basket, episodes 7 and 8. The first one is called You'll See Something Amazing. Very excited. We are going against Papa Mbaye at the Inter High Prelims, I'm pretty sure it's called. We do this to get to the Inter Highs and then Nationals, if I remember correctly. I'm sure they're going to re give me a recap and reiterate some things to me, so I'm very excited about that. We got to deal with this massively tall dude papa umbaye and kuroko is going to give him a personal lesson for calling him a child so very excited about that don't forget if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching up to four episodes ahead everything is on that patreon links are down below in the description make sure to check that out you guys can also watch this early and uncut with me over on twitch twitch.tv slash that for darius don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel make sure to follow all the other social medias instagram tiktok twitter all the dapper darius much appreciated y'all let's hop right on into this kuroko no basket episode seven this one is called you'll see something amazing let's do this beautiful beautiful steal not even noticing him right into an alley-oop we just got the point. They're about to pass it in bounds for their ball. We stole that. Got a back-to-back -back point. Don't talk until you played them. Absolutely. It's just a classic case of overestimating, you know. Can't get over that nickname they have for him. He's way too tall, but you got to give him as much pressure as you can. It's a straight-up good block, but you're just not tall enough, man. Unfortunate as it may be. Up by 12. That was a good shot. Block him out. Okay, good rebound. Put it right back up. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see right there. <laughs> Come on. He, no, I, I love how he's not giving up. No matter how many times he's been shot on, he's still going for that block. And he intimidated him a little bit with that. Yeah, why is he taller than him now? Why is he getting more and more ups? My man Kagami got the hops. He got the drive. Hell yeah. I mean, he might run out of steam, which is something we can worry about. But I think for right now, yeah, he is doing what needs to be done. Ooh, that shot of him coming in there directly. Who's that? Tomitobe? My man Kuroko's got the steals and the passes. But you overestimate yourself. Oh, that's a burn. Compared to you, Kise is way stronger. And we already beat him. That's that. First episode. Game over. 12 point win. Oh, what's his name? Uh, Midorima. He's going to be our finals opponent, right? He is the nastiest shot of the Generation of Miracles. This is one thing I learned to love through Haikyuu, and I'm sure I'm going to love it in this show as well, is, I mean, he's calling him an idiot, but I love characters not really, I don't like the term butthurt, I just use it because it's a common thing people say, but not getting overly in their feelings or emotions when they lose. They internalize it really quick, they know what they did wrong, they know where they went wrong and what to fix, and they accept they lost, and they're willing to show them, hey, you guys won congrats but don't forget about me because i'm not done yet i will come back and i will beat you and this happens so many times in haiku that which anytime i see a character later on or in another tournament or something i get just so much hype more hype because i'm like how do they train how do they want to take us out knowing that we know their advantage knowing you know it's like and i'm i can only imagine how many times it's going to happen in this show and oh, oh i'm so excited for it you guys have told me that the creator of Kuroko no Basket and the creator of Haikyuu are very good friends and inspire each other and give each other to like I can see it so much. I love it. Jitsu's in. Okay. We we crush them 118 to 50 with Kuroko benched. I mean, we're already kind of a nice squad. Like a 60 point difference, almost 70 is insane. We're going against Kinga. Last year's top 16. Up by 20. Yeah, you're saying that, but we're going to have some obstacles for sure. He's like Haikyuu, or he's like Hinata. I almost said he's like Haikyuu. He's like Hinata. They, they want to play. Okay, so these guys have been breezing through it as well. 
So this is going to be our first real challenge. Okay. Oh, this is them? Yeah, what's up, buddies? Long time no see, huh? You guys got smoked by us last time. <laughs> well, yeah, we didn't mean what we were saying earlier. We're sorry. 70 point difference almost. Holy. Why are we zooming through these prelims? What kind of pacing is this? Last 10 years. Immobile Kings of Tokyo. Midorima, the king of the east. Yep. I just keep thinking of Shira Torizawa from Haikyuu, man. Just the intimidation, the intensity they bring, you know? Oh, the title of this episode. Okay, Shutoku. Are we going to watch them go against someone? We're not going against them because we're going to go against them in the finals. First off, that dude looks insanely tall. Midorima looks... He, we know he's a great shooter, so... I am very excited. Persistent and tireless. Are we going to have chance just like Haikyuu? Go, go, let's go, let's go, Date Ko. Oh, he didn't want to shake hands. He wanted to tell you who he was. You're not going to forget. Now you can't claim that. I like this. I like that. You're not going to forget my name. Tripled our score? What's up, Midorima? What you got to say to Kuroko? Mmm. <laughs> he is a Sundara. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Okay. I'm I'm here to see it. Oh, I thought he kept on the finger wraps the whole time, but no, he takes them off when he plays. That's why he had the stuff bear. This lucky item for the day. This music goes way too dummy, I tell you. That's Takeo, right? Ooh! The behind the back pass? That was sl that was clean. Oh yeah. You need those fundamentals. You need those. I love I forgot I think it was I heard it when they were talking about basketball. What they said, like don't be fast, slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. So it's kinda like a play on words to be slow but to be fast at the same time. They have an infallible scorer. Oh, yes, they do. That guy looks like a fucking unit. Drain. Wet. And it doesn't matter how high he arcs if he doesn't miss. Oh, that is a crazy arc. All right, Steph. What are you going to turn around when you shoot it like that? I won't lie with it in the background of his face like that. That was a bad ass shot. And I'm not talking about hit both the shots. The shot in the shot was fire, if you know what I'm trying to say. That is, you got ice in your veins if you shoot and then look without even seeing the outcome. Ooh, you got ice. This dude chucks it to the ceiling every time. They over seven times their points. 20 to 150 so they're way stronger than last year i mean we are too but they just oh my god they shit on us last year bro. this is nerve-wracking honestly yep you're either gonna be super warmed up or you're gonna be exhausted
How are we gonna do this? He just shows no physical emotion, but yeah, he's gl gleaming with excitement. It can. It can either feel like a fire lit under you, or it can feel like a sh can weight over you, though. It's all depending on the person, you know? We got Seiho and then Shutoku. That, oh my god, these are gonna be insane. Alright, here we go, on to episode 8, let's do it. Oh, they need the rest, they gotta get that. Oh, it's just Kagami specifically, this man got the calories up. Talk about being sore. I know. Strenuous heavy lifting. <laughs> VODs. We gotta do some tape review. Oh yeah. So they're reviewing tapes, assuming that it's gonna be them versus Seho and not versus us in the finals. But you never know. This dude is an actual ninja, I swear. So they're watching a game five. This is Seho, the guys we're going against in cinema finals. So we're watching the same VOD, Midorima and us too. You know him. Okay, so he wasn't a generation of Miracler. He stopped Kisei, so he's nice. I did not know we'd be getting a flashback of the generation of Miracles actually playing. So this is the bald guy. Sugawa. Mm. So that's why he's a great defensive player. He loves seeing people get upset. Okay. Okay. Holy shit, 12 points? In any match is insane. Yeah, you say that now. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. So we just gotta be the one time? Okay, Junpei. What would that be? Got a little Mexican standoff here, locking eyes. Is this just warm-ups? Is this just practice? I can't tell. Man, I can't lie. Watching this show makes me want to go play basketball so much. I love the sound of the squeak of the shoes, the, the sound of the ball, you know? Yeah, that man's got some broad shoulders. Asuga, okay. This is the dude. This is Su uh, Sugawa. Now that is a fire response, and I agree. Ooh. Ooh. Also a fire response. He's an Aquarius, really? What about Scorpio? Last pl Okay. This is not a good sign for today, yeah. Yeah. This does not forebode well. You know what? I might just, I might just, I might just pop off now. Hey, I know. Come on. I, I would be happy, Rico. I swear. This is the true motivation we need. Come on. Hell yeah! Get our spirits fired up. I cannot believe I was still thinking about. Defeating Papa Mbaye at the beginning of last episode. Now we're already in the semifinals going against Seho. This is insane.
No, I agree. So what happened? Mm, okay. I cannot believe this is actually starting right here. Don't end. No, this is commercial, right? Yeah, this is commercial. Good. I actually, we actually get some of this. I'm actually hyped. You get it from his POV? Oh, wow. 12 0 for them already? Oh, the defense on, on, on Sugawa, yeah. For Kagami is insane, yeah. Okay, that was well played. And then, nope, their captain is brolicking big. Sadly, I agree. Their defense is insane. Yeah, and if he's getting stopped, then the whole entire car is, you know. Without that, they can't hit their stride. I firmly agree. You can't pass it because their defense is too great right now, and you can't go anywhere because Sugawa is on you. Ooh, Val. Okay, that was a great turn. He's looking for his signature Kuroko pass for his quick divot, and in that millisecond of a reaction time where he normally would pass it, he can't pass it. He's like, what the f do I do? Okay, so they're just man to man, but like stuck to you, like dick to butt. <laughs> Namba running, okay. Oh, really? I've never done that on purpose. So they can maintain their defense, but maintain their stamina as well. That's why Kagami was saying something about their movement is off. I sure as hell hope so, Kisei. I'm right there with you. Hell yeah. Hey, shouts out Rico. Gave us some exact good, great details and advice on what needed to happen and what we need to do, because this needs to change up. Okay. What are we going to do different now? Okay. True, true. Okay, crossover. With the speed and the quickness, he's already past Sugawa. Is their captain going to stop Kagami though, or what's going to happen? Oh, we finally get to hear what Kuroko said. So now that I think about it, mm, I get that. That passion, that inspiration, that resolve he gets from his teammates and their inspiration. That was a great dunk. Look how fucking high my man jump. We finally get on the board though. Let's go. And it proves Suga was not invincible as well. We will win this game. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, you said it yourself. We're slow starters. We're going to start picking up that pace. And he, I feel like he's going to like it. Yeah, he's feeling like even more. The fun and the pain. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that the end? Oh, that was a good episode. That was a good episode right there. Well, I know I said it in the episodes before this, but I got to say it again. The pacing of this show is incredible. We're zooming through these matches already in the semifinals, about to, or already uh, near the middle part of the first quarter against Seho, one of the big three. You got Shutoku, um, Senshinkun, and Seho. And we're going against Seho right now. They got Sugawa. I need to write down their captain and their other their playmakers' names because I really like them and I enjoy their, di their dynamic as well. I think eventually I'm going to have it be like a high Q page where I'm probably going to have an entire page dedicated to just pure teams and team names. Let's see if I can show you guys right here. On the back, as you guys can see, Karasuno, Nekoma, uh, Al Alba Josai, all the teams. I'll probably will be doing this with Kuroko as well. But just so you guys are aware, love the show, love the pacing, love the music. Music is S tier right now. 
Um, really enjoying the resolve. Kagami and Kuroko have a fantastic relationship. Uh, I'm really liking Junpei, our captain. Uh, I'm really liking Kisei and how he very much reminds me of Oikawa of this show. Overall, this is high key with basketball. I'm not saying that an insult as well because I love high key and basketball only makes it, it fits, it fits so much. You know, this is just fucking amazing. So far, in love with the series. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access and full length of the four episodes. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.